I'm about to leave on a bus headed for LA, so I have to hide my mother's heroin. I'm just gonna hide it in this purse down here. The reason why I'm taking a bus rather than flying is I thought it would be safer trying to transfer my heroin. I brought about 30 grams with me. My mother and I have a very weird, codependent, completely abnormal relationship. As long as I've known her, I've always known that my mother was an addict. She acts more like a friend towards me than my mother. This isn't normal. I'm not stupid, <laughs> you know? This is about as far dysfunctional as it gets. I've been living with my mother for about six months. My mom found out that I was using heroin. At first, she was very angry about it. I sensed that the anger was more curiosity. I went into her room and I said, are you so pissed because you want to try it? And she was like, well, maybe just a little. I almost feel like it was that day and then every day since. From there, I was basically supplying her heroin. I feel guilty about introducing heroin into my mother's life, but first thing my mother does when she wakes up in the morning is start begging me for heroin. She texts messages me pretty much every half hour until I respond. My mother plays the victim card on me big time, saying, I like to see her sick. That's basically the same routine every time. I was wondering if you were going to come down, bring some anything down. I hate everything about it. You wouldn't want to introduce us to your worst enemy, let alone your mother. What, what the hell is going on here? What, what, what the hell are you thinking? It's... It's a tough situation. I, so you go out and get yourself addicted to heroin. Yeah. And you decide, okay, I think I'll take this home and start giving it to my mother. That's not exactly how it happened. But who introduced your mother to heroin? Me. Who gives it to her every day? Me. Who's her dealer? Me. So how, what is it I'm missing? No, I guess you're... You're right. I mean, let's, I mean, if we're going to talk about it, let's at least talk about it honestly.